Brake pressure regulator is one of the important components of the automotive anti-lock braking system. It can accurately regulate the braking force of each wheel to the solenoid valve to ensure that the wheels are not locked when braking. This course, we learn about the brake pressure regulator. There are three learning objectives of the course, respectively are. One, familiarize yourself with the function and types of brake pressure regulators to knowledge of the construction and operation of a recirculating brake pressure regulator. Three, knowledge of the construction and operation of variable volume brake pressure regulators. We'll learn today in three parts. Part 1 Overview of Brake Pressure Regulators Definition of Brake Pressure Regulator is a device used to realize the brake pressure adjustment at the wheel brake and is installed between the brake master cylinder and the wheel cylinder, the role of the brake pressure regulator. According to the ECU directive, the brake pressure of the wheel cylinder is controlled directly or indirectly by the solenoid valve for automatic adjustment brake pressure regulator can be according to source of power fabric pressure regulating method classified. According to the power source can be divided into hydraulic type and pneumatic type. According to the overall structure can be divided into integral and separate type. According to the pressure regulation mode can be divided into circulation type and variable volume type. At present circulation type and variable displacement type are basically used. Let's take a closer look at these two types. Part of circulating brake pressure regulator. Reducer construction. The recirculating brake pressure regulator is mainly composed of a solenoid valve, an electrohydraulic pump, and a reservoir. One solenoid. Receive ECU instruction. Adjust the brake cylinder pressure by controlling the valve switching. And complete the cycle of pressurization pressure. Preservation, decompression, pressure, preservation. To fluid storage tank, accepts brake fluid return from the brake. Wheel cylinder during ABS the pressurization. Electric oil return pump. When the solenoid valve is depressurized, the brake fluid from the brake wheel cylinder is returned to the brake master cylinder by the return pump through the reservoir. Working principle without changing the hydraulic pressure of the master cylinder. The amount of brake fluid in the wheel cylinder is adjusted to change the hydraulic pressure of the brake wheel cylinder so that the wheels do not hold when braking. Working process, one conventional braking ABS not working. The slip rate is less than 20%. The solenoid coil is not energized. Plunger is located at the bottom. The brake fluid from the brake master cylinder and the pressure of the brake wheel cylinder varies with the pressure of the brake master cylinder to pressure preserving braking. A small current is passed through the solenoid coil. The plunger in the solenoid valve moves to the center position, all passages are closed. And the fluid pressure in the brake wheel cylinder remains in a constant state. 3. Decompression brake when the slip rate is greater than 20%. The solenoid coil is energized with high current. The plunger moves to the upper end. And the line between the brake wheel cylinder and the reservoir is connected and depressurized. The hydraulic pump operates to pump the brake fluid from the reservoir back to the brake master cylinder. For booster brake, the solenoid coil is de-energized. The plunger in the solenoid valve returns to the position it was in during regular braking and the pressure in the brake. Wheel cylinder varies with the pressure in the brake master cylinder. Part 3 Variable Volume Brake Pressure Regulator Reducer Construction Variable Displacement Brake Pressure Regulator mainly consists of solenoid valve, regulator cylinder electric pump and pressure accumulator. One regulating cylinder. Connect the brake master cylinder. Brake sub pump and fluid reservoir to adjust the volume of brake fluid, thus controlling the braking force of the brake sub pump. To combination solenoid valve, receives a cool commands. 
to control the closure of the three ports between the regulator cylinder. Energy reservoir and liquid storage tank by controlling the switching of the valves, three electric booster pumps and accumulators. Stores the high-pressure fluid required for ABS operation in braking. Pump control fluid into the reservoir and pressurize. Working principle. Add a set of hydraulic control device in the original brake system pipeline of the car. Use to change the volume of the brake line to realize the adjustment of brake fluid pressure. Working process. One booster brake. The input solenoid valve is closed, output solenoid valve is opened. The regulating cylinder piston moves up under the action of the spring and opens the check valve and the pressure of the brake sub pump will increase with the increase of the brake pedal force. To keep pressure off, the input solenoid valve is closed. The output solenoid valve is closed. The position of the regulating cylinder piston remains unchanged and the brake fluid pressure at the brake sub-pump remains unchanged. Three depressurize, the input solenoid valve opens, the output solenoid valve closes, the high-pressure control fluid flies to the regulating piston cylinder. The piston moves down volume increases, and the brake pressure at the brake sub-pump decreases. In this course, we focused on cyclic and variable displacement. These two brake pressure regulator types Understanding their classification press and working process. Believe you are already familiar with these two types of brake pressure regulators. Hopefully you'll consolidate your content on your own. It lays a foundation for learning ABS wheel anti-lock braking system.